Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Greenstein with Advanced Urology, and we're going to talk about uh, vasectomy. Vasectomy is essentially permanent sterilization. In other words, time to retire, you can't take it anymore, no more kids, or some people don't want kids at all, time to set up the retirement plan. There are basically three ways that I can do a vasectomy, and it's basically just logistics. One, wide awake in the office. You're awake, I'm awake, and you come in, numb you up, do the vasectomy. The second, Valium. You take some Valium. Taking a Valium is like having two tequila shots and a shot of beer, and, uh, and you're just taking the edge off. Still numb you up and do the vasectomy. Third way of doing the vasectomy is in our surgery center. That's where you come in, IV goes in, you go back to the procedure room, you're knocked out, and then I do the vasectomy. I still be generous, I, I'm still generous, and I put uh, numbing medicine in. But essentially, we do a no scalpel vasectomy. That means that I am gonna make a small opening in the skin, one on each side, and I basically find the tube that delivers the sperm out of the body called the vas deferens. I grab it, once again, I numb it, I divide it up, I tie it up with some silk sutures, I cauterize it and remove a little piece. I put the ends back inside and then I put a dissolvable stitch in the skin and then I do the exact same thing on the other side. Vasectomies can take me anywhere between 10 minutes and 20 minutes, it depends on the person, it depends how much I talk, what kind of music we're playing, things like that. After the procedure is done, you go home, ice pack, remote control, catch up on Netflix, sports, movies, whatever you want to do, and just get better. That night, go and take a shower and rinse off all of the leftover uh, soap that could be there and just, just take it easy. I recommend ice on, ice off, five minutes on, five minutes off, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, and it's almost like the Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. When you wake up the next day, ice it again, and just take it easy. We're gonna give everybody an antibiotic. It just cuts down the risk of infection to way less than 1%. Everybody's gonna be given a prescription for tramadol, which is basically like a sort of non-narcotic pain medicine. But a lot of the guys these days are just using ibuprofen or Tylenol. For a week, don't do anything dumb. Just take it easy. Don't paint your garage, don't mow the lawn, don't ride a bike, don't play soccer. Just take it easy. You can do stairs, you can go for a walk, you can go out to eat, but just take it easy. My favorite question is, when do I have sex? Well, it's not up to me, it's up to you and your wife. You can have sex whenever you want. Just don't do it in my parking lot because it's video monitored. But seriously, you can have sex whenever you want, but it takes about six weeks for a vasectomy to kick in. At the six week mark, you're gonna order a kit from a company. They're gonna mail this kit to your house. And on a day that you're minding your own business, you're just gonna put your junk in the kit and then mail it back to the lab. Don't give us six weeks of junk, just the junk at six weeks. And then a couple of days later, I'm gonna get a report that says either sperm or no sperm. Once it says no sperm, you've graduated, you're free to go, you're, uh, you're basically infertile at this point. Side effects of a vasectomy are infection, way less than 1%. Everybody gets a little swelling and bruising. Hopefully you will not get a lot of pain. There are some people out there that get a lot of discomfort after the vasectomy. And very, very, very rarely, I've, there are some guys out there that get pain down the road, uh, but hopefully that will not be your case. It will not mess up your prostate. It will not mess up your ability to have sex or urinate. It will not change your testosterone levels. That's basically a vasectomy uh, in a nutshell. So if you are contemplating on not having any children or having any more children, this is the best procedure that you can do for a man's health and for a man's relationship so he doesn't have children.